Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and I write for Combat Handguns magazine and a variety of other publications. And today we're out here with one of my Webley Mark VI revolvers. Now, some of you may have seen my previous videos on Webley Mark VI revolvers, and those all have to do with guns that have had their cylinders cut back to chamber 45 ACP in uh, moon clips. But this gun is in the original 455 Webley configuration, and we'll just take it out and put it through its paces. That was a plan anyway, but like most plans, it didn't stand up that well to the real world. It was pretty quickly obvious to me that something was wrong. Uh, when it took two hits to set that cartridge off, I was pretty sure I knew what the problem was. But it was something I didn't want to admit to myself at the beginning, so I had to give it a try anyway. And, and that problem is headspace. This is the pistol that we were shooting, Webley Mark VI. And I bought it from an auction site uh, that listed it as an unaltered 455 Webley firing gun, which, which I needed because I have to do a, an article for Military Surplus on reloading 455 Webley. So I needed a gun that would shoot that. So I picked this up. I already had uh, another gun, but as, as it turns out, this gun, just like my original gun, is shaved for 45 ACP. And I'll explain that pretty quickly. Uh, the original Webley cartridge looks like this. This is a 455 Webley Mark II and has a very narrow rim, as you can see. It's descended from a black powder version of this cartridge, also known as a 455 Webley Mark I, which has a little bit longer brass. So that's what I'm developing hand loads for, and this is what my Webley hand loads look like, and I needed to test them. But as it turns out, this gun has been shaved. And by shaved, let me pull out my other Webley Mark VI. I've had this one for about 20 years. Uh, by shaved, I mean it has been altered to fire 45 ACP in moon clips. So we'll just show you. These are hand-loaded 45 ACP rounds, and you wouldn't want to use factory ammo in one of these original Webleys because they can't stand the pressures. Uh, but if you can hand-load the 45 ACPs, and the cylinder's been shaved back to give it more headspace to take these in moon clips. So, with the moon clips loaded, you can see we're just fine. Now, one of the things that of course I wanted was a gun that was not shaved. And as it turns out, this one is. Now, I, I kind of forgive the guy I bought this from on the auction site, and I had it for a while before I could get ammo to test in it, so I'm not going to send it back. But the way that you can tell if a Webley's been shaved, at least the way you're supposed to be able to tell, is from the serial number. And let me get this. If you can see the serial number here, you can see the bottom of the digits is cut off. And that's the sign of a shaved gun. Now theoretically, if you can read the digits all the way to the bottom, which you can on this gun, it hasn't been shaved. But as it turns out, like a lot of rules of thumb, that's inaccurate sometimes. So this gun, which is supposed to be 455 Webley unaltered, takes the moon clip cartridges just like my first Webley, which is not good because I needed to test these hand loads. Now to give credit where it's due, Terrell Hebert, uh, who's known as Mark III SMLE on YouTube, so check out his channel, 
he correctly identified that this gun was shaved when I first got it. But I just did not want to believe it because the serial number was right and because I desperately needed an unshaved gun. But to give Terrell credit, he was right, I was wrong, and I had to go to plan B. So I'm just going to explain that you can indeed do something that will allow you to shoot original Webley cartridges in a gun that's been shaved. And now I'm I'm working right now to win an auction on YouTube for the uh, not YouTube on uh, eBay for the only unshaved cylinder that's for sale in the United States right now. I think hopefully it's really unshaved, but I couldn't wait that long. And there is a gunsmith that I may be seeing who can uh, solder on um, basically a star-shaped piece that gives the original headspace back. But couldn't wait for that. So what I did instead is I took one of these 45 ACP moon clips, steel one, uh, just exactly like the one we're using here, and I modified it so I could load the Webley loads with it. So here's the original moon clip and here's the modified moon clip. So you can see it requires taking off quite a bit of meat. And when you're done with that, you can lay this moon clip on the back and you can load Webley ammo. Now it's pretty easy to do. You just need a Dremel moto tool with uh, a grinding or a sanding head. The trick though is to work from opposing chambers because it's obviously it's going to be lined up so that when you're done you can load all six and the only way to really do that is to work from opposing chambers and keep fine-tuning it as you go and if you do that you end up with a clip that will allow you to properly headspace 455 Webley ammo, uh, which this gun now does, and we're going to go back to shooting it. But that's what I had to do. So I'm waiting for my new cylinder, and hopefully I'm good. But in the meantime, I was able to test my 45, my 455 Webley hand loads, and I'm busy writing that article right now. So let's get back to the shooting. I think we should be good to go now. Well, let's put some of these 455 Webleys onto the clay birds, see if we can bust them. Well, that last one's a little bit of a mulligan, but I guess I got to take it. Well, let's do the water dance with the 455 Webley Mark VI. Let's finish up with the bad guy's view of the Webley Mark VI revolver. <laughs> 